is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com series on upgrading from Windows Vista to Windows 7. In this segment, we're to the part where we're going to be ready to install Windows 7. We've cleaned up our PC, defragmented it, got everything ready to go. So the first thing we have to do is push in our Windows 7 disk into the DVD drive. That should spin up all by itself. If for some reason it doesn't, there are comments in the show notes to tell you how to get the DVD drive to run the disk. So in a moment here, the Windows 7 disk will spin up and present a dialog window. So we'll just wait for that. So here we go. Here's our dialog window. There's an option here to check compatibility online. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to assume that you've already checked the compatibility before you went out and purchased the Windows 7 upgrade disk. So we're going to click on install Windows 7 type screen and you can see that setup is copying temporary files. Alright with the temporary files copied setup is starting. Now the length of the installation upgrading from Windows Vista to Windows 7 will vary depending on the size of your hard, size of your hard drive the amount of memory you have, and other factors. So now we get presented with some options. Do we want to go online, get the latest updates, which is recommended? For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to not get the latest updates. We're going to install it, and I also want to help make Windows installation better, so I check that box, and I click here. Now you have to agree to the license terms, which it's always wise to read and click next. Now, do we want to do a custom installation or an upgrade? We're talking about doing an upgrade. So we click there. It's telling us here that the one thing that won't happen is that Windows Vista Ultimate Extras have been discontinued and won't be available in Windows 7. That's okay. We'll click next. So now, a very familiar screen to anyone who's installed Vista. It's copying Windows files, then it'll be gathering files, settings, and programs, expanding files, installing features and updates, transferring settings and programs. Once again, I want to repeat that the three versions of Windows Vista that can upgrade are the only three that migrate your programs, settings, and data all other installations of other versions of Windows Vista and Windows XP you need to do a clean install. So the installation is going along. We're now at 10%. We're going to continue this in the next segment. Keep in mind that this is a multiple part series and be sure you watch all of the parts.